right, so this is the refrigeration lab. And so on the lab here, it has uh, the startup procedure, and it's actually pretty good. Um, you just follow that. Make sure that all of your valves are closed. They're pretty clearly labeled throughout um, next to different valves. So down here, if you forget, it tells you which way is open and which way is closed. You know, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Go through before you start up. Make sure your valves are in the right position. Turn on your fans and your compressor. And then um, you set your flow rate using this valve, the HE. HEV valve right here and there's a flow meter and you want it set at 45 for a few minutes to start up just to make sure your machine's running right and then from there you could kind of adjust it and do your experiment. This is the shutdown procedure and it always sits right here and it does not oh it takes about 10-15 minutes to shut down before we find out. So some other tricks that you want to pay attention or pay attention to um, so there's a watt meter right here this is not the amount of power that's going into your fluid. So if you're doing calculations, don't assume that that amount of wattage is putting, getting put into the fluid. Okay. Uh, another tip is when you're on accessing LabVIEW for the refrigeration unit, you need to make sure it's on Internet Explorer. It will not work on Mozilla or Chrome because the plugin does not install. Okay, and what kind of things are you measuring here? And uh, what do you need to record? So you're measuring the pressures and temperatures of the inlet and outlet of the condensers and the compressor, and you push to record after you take um, request ac request to access to the, the unit, and then it exports it into an Excel file. Great. Okay. So what? Uh, any other tricks or things that you guys would recommend to groups following after you on this uh, on this experiment? Yeah. So um, before between each trial leave about 15 minutes or so at least um, before you do the data points because there could be error in your data it has to it takes a long time to get reach a new steady state okay 15 minutes or so okay great okay thank you guys